welcome back. Uh, we're not quite ready to start, but teams are retaking the field. So we wanted to get on here live and give everyone an update. We will probably go silent for a while as teams get back out, reestablish themselves on the field, go through what other restart activities we need to do. But it does look like we should be getting back underway here shortly.
Okay, it looks like we are about to restart uh, where we last left. Uh, Valonia had been called for an offside <laughs> inside uh, inside the five yard line. It looks like it looks like we're just going to play this as a goal kick, uh, which a restart's a restart, I'm guessing. But uh, we should be getting underway any second now. There's the whistle. And there's the touch. That ball in the air off a of Parkview player straight to Kendall Johnson. Kendall Johnson up to Jocelyn McReynolds. Her shot deflects off a of Parkview player, and that'll be a corner kick incoming for Valonia. Johnson runs down the loose ball and will set up inside the on the near side corner. Try and get this camera set up so you can get a good view. Several Valonia players in the box. Johnson adjust. Sends in, in the air. Off a of park view player in the box, run down by McReynolds. McReynolds back out to Johnson. Johnson puts it in, just a little bit too much turn on it, and it goes out the back. And we'll have a park view goal kick. Twenty four for Park View lines up to take this touch. Ball into play, middle of the field, played off of Mauser's head. Straight to Bella Irving off her shins into the keeper's hands. Good aggression there by Irving. If she could just knock that down, it's an easy touch in. But she'll she'll grow into that. Bella is one of our several freshmen on the team this year and looking for strong things out of her in the future. The punt by the Parkview keeper played in, and now the ball is coming down the sideline. Parkview number seven plays the ball in, but Kaylee Black is there to take it away from the Parkview player. Put the ball back up, run down by Emma Lowry. Lowry to the ball, fights through some contact. Ball is dropped back, but Valonia will look to possess it. Lang. Takes the ball, big touch, centering touch. McReynolds gets it off her head. Uh, getting this camera under control. Parkview does play the ball out the sideline. It'll be a throw in for Valonia, about four or five yards deep into the field. Quick breather for both teams as Valonia sets up for its throw. That is... Looks like that's Kaylee Black to take the throw for Valonia. Ball in, down the sideline, to McReynolds, off her foot, off the keeper. Corner kick coming for Valonia. McReynolds is able to hurry up there and get to it. And the keeper had no choice but to get a hand on it to keep it from going in, and Valonia will have a corner kick. Johnson for Valonia takes the ball, sets up into the corner. And her teammates line up at the top of the box. And that this ball will get sent in momentarily. Centering pass there. First one to it is Bella Irvin. She gets a foot on it, but it goes wide. And that will be a goal kick for Parkview. Johnson did her job. She got the ball centered in. And there's actually more Valonia players there than Parkview. We were just unable to get that ball Beyond their wall, 24 for Parkview. Puts the ball back into play. Mauser rushes to it. She misses, but Kaylee Black's there to get it. Drops it to Lang. And Lang says it up the sideline. Oh, in the box. And no one from Bologna is able to run it down. And we'll do another goal kick. Another goal kick incoming for Parkview. Big touch by Parkview. Played off the top of the mouse, Mauser's head. Black tries to settle it. Touches up to Lowry. Lowry and a Parkview player are fighting for it. No one's touched it yet. No one does touch it. Ball out on Bologna. Parkview throw. That throw down the sideline untouched. Ultimately stopped by Lang. Her... Pass deflected, but 
too big of a touch by the Parkview player. Broll's able to get there, step, talk, touch the ball into touch, and a Parkview throw is coming. Parkview drops, but Mauser's able to get to it first, and now Lowry is going. Lowry sends it in, trying to get it to Irving, but that's picked off. Now we have Johnson with the ball coming down the sideline, looking to cause trouble. She gets to the corner, looking to turn. She gets a drop to McReynolds. A little strong, but McReynolds is able to maintain possession. Starts to center it. She gets a shot off, deflected off a Parkview player and into their keeper's hands. The punt is a little line drive but no one's able to get a foot onto it Well, until Monica Lane gets to it, sends the ball down the sideline to Lowry, but Lowry can't control it. And now there's a three-car pileup that results in the ball getting centered into the box. Irvin looks to pressure the ball. She gets there, and she is able – she forces Parkview's hand. Corner kick coming for Bologna. Corner kick coming for Valonia. Everyone taking a breather. Ball dropped into the near post to McReynolds. McReynolds looking to turn. Ball's dropped back to Johnson. Johnson looks for a centering pass off the top of Lowry's head. Loose ball in the box and ultimately played out by Parkview. But Masius is there to get to it. Drops to Kleber. Kleber takes it back down to Mauser. Mauser looking to center into the box, but the Parker U defender is there. That ball is into touch. Kleberg settles, picks it up, and they're looking to continue to press Parkview in this situation. The throw off Mauser's foot into touch, and now we have a Parkview throw. Bologna continues to pressure in the offensive third. Ball through. Parkview able to get it past Kleberg, but into touch, and will be a park. It'll be a Bologna throw. Kleberg centers the ball to Black. Black looking to change field, sends it across to Lowry. Unsuccessful in Parkview controls. Broll able to step up, sends it into the box, deflected off a of Parkview player. Bell Irvin. Creates a little confusion. Parkview has no choice, sends it out wide, and we'll have a Valonia throw in. Coming inside the box, it looks like Kaylee Black will be coming over to take this throw for Valonia. Black surveying the field. Kaylee looking for a way to cause problems by getting the ball in the box. Sends it in to McReynolds. McReynolds centers it off her chest, ball in the air. Valonia controls. Black centering. Oh, looks like that was actually a sh shot attempt that just goes into the side of the net. Not a horrible look there, but unsuccessful, and there'll be a goal kick for Parkview. 24, 24 for Parkview, takes another goal kick, sends the ball into play. Ball played off Mossius' foot to McReynolds. McReynolds controls, surveys, looks to get the ball into Lowry. Lowry in the box. Lowry around the defender. Lowry tries to center it, bounces off of a Parkview player. It'll be another corner kick for Bologna. That will be the fourth corner of the game for Bologna. We're about 13, we're about 12 and a half minutes into this match, and we have a corner kick coming for Bologna. Johnson surveys, sends high in the air, off of Lowry and off the post. Into touch off a Parkview player. It'll be another corner kick. The fifth of the game for Valonia. Valonia takes a more aggressive stance in the box. Ball centered. Into the box. Off Mossius. Off McReynolds. Mossius. Slow roller. Trouble, but unable to get it past that pile of players. Parkview looks to go full speed attack. Broll slows it down. Parkview and number seven and Broll fight each other. 
for possession and seven for Parkview view unable to control ball goes into touch and Valonia will have a throw Klebrick's throw down the line touched by Parkview, saved in touch after a little bit of stabbing the ball is dropped into <laughs> into touch and it'll be a park view throw throw a park view through their foot and Mossieth gets the ball to McReynolds McReynolds users their speed to get around the park view defender and sends a through path Bell of Irving's off but Emma Lowry is not Emma Lowry gets the ball into the box tries to get a shot off deflected by Parkview and the sixth corner of the game coming for Valonia. Uh, looks like we have mass substitution coming for Parkview at this time, four in, four out. Oh, and correction, that, was, uh, that wasn't ruled a corner kick, that was ruled a goal kick. So it'll be a goal kick coming for Parkview. A missed touch there on the goal kick, sent back into the box by Emma, well, sent up by Lowry, out the baseline, and we'll do the goal kick again. I think Lowry may have been shocked there by how, how much time she had. She could have settled and got a better shot there, but everything's fine at this point. No damage done. That goal kick sent out wide, and we'll have a Valonia throw coming. Johnson surveys the field, gets the ball down the sideline to McReynolds. McReynolds tries to settle, poked away by the Parkview defender, and this time will be corner kick number six coming for Valonia. Johnson surveys several Valonia players in the box, a couple up top, a couple down low. Johnson touches it down the sideline to McReynolds. It, okay, it did go in and it went out. So this is a goal kick coming for Parkview. Possibly a little miscommunication there, but still ball in the offensive third for Valonia. Masius and Mauser look to control the ball, and they do. Ball touched back through to Mauser and Parkview able to try and push out, but Lowry is there to control and possess. Lowry centering attempt goes out the baseline, and we have a goal kick coming for Parkview. Goal kick skips around the 10, 15 yard line. Valonia possesses Kaylee Black. Drops it to Lang. Lang looks to center it. Parkview is there to pick it off. And Parkview sends up a through ball. But it does look like Brol will be able to get to it first. Throw coming for Parkview. Parkview tries to possess along the sideline. Lang's there to attack. Whistle finally comes. Not sure. Into the game for Valonia. Well, into the game for Valonia. Kendall Hale replaces Emma Lowry. It looks like the call, though, on stoppage was into touch. So we have a throw in coming for Valonia. Monica Lang looks to take this throw for Valonia. Down the sideline. Over the Parkview player head, Hale able to settle the ball, works with Mauser to get the ball up the field, and Valonia looks to attack. Advancing pass, picked off by a Parkview player, but put into touch, and we'll have a throw in coming for Valonia. Lang, Lang sprints up field to take this throw for Valonia. Surveys. Sends it through the pack of players, and it's now controlled by the Parkview back line. Bella Irvin gets in front of it. Bella Irvin, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, sends it in. 
check the field, no whist, no uh, offside call, and that is a goal for Valonia. Bella Irvin, her first goal of the season, the first goal of this match. At the in the 19th minute, Bologna gets on board first. Bologna goes up one nothing on the goal by Bella Irvin. Good to see her teammates swarm her there after getting on the board for the first time this season. Bella's new to soccer, but she's been putting a lot of effort, and you can really tell by the way she plays out there. Parkview restarts, and Bologna immediately applies the pressure. McReynolds wins the ball away, gets the drop to Johnson. Johnson double teamed, but Masius is there to get the ball upfield. Masius attempting to get to Black, but just a little strong. Mauser with the touch by, looking to clear it to get up to the field. Broll looks to center, Parkview in the way. Masius going out wide now, and Parkview attempting to maintain possession. And ball into touch, AR sows Parkview throw. Parkview has a throw around midfield. Parkview drops the ball in the play, but Mauser's there to pick off. Known from Valonia in the front half to get it, but Parkview centers the ball directly to Monica Lang. Monica Lang takes the ball, and she's working her way down the far sideline. Monica Lang up to Kendall Hale. Kendall Hale, first game back from injury. Looking to possess and move the ball to the field, working away through Park Preview players, drops it to Black, Black back to Hale. Hale at the top of the box has the ball taken, but Black is there to back her up. Black into the corner. Black looking for a centering pass or a shot. She puts the ball on goal, hits the near post, but bounces harmlessly out of play. Good look by Kaylee Black, but no good. Goal kick coming for Parkview. We're now 20 minutes into this half. Goal kick played by Parkview, but Valonia is there. Seven for Parkview looking to take the ball up the field herself. Sends a large touch down the sideline. Lang runs with her, but the ball goes into touch. And we'll have a Valonia throw. Lang rockets ball down the sideline past several Parkview defenders. Parkview able to get to it and tap it back, but Bella Irvin's there again to cause problems. Bella working hard on number 16 from Parkview there. Parkview just looking to clear the ball out, and eventually they do, but straight to Valonia players. Kaylee Black now has the ball. Parkview is just stabbing at it, trying to get it out of the defensive third, and Valonia is there every time. Through pass there does get past the, that middle line of Valonia, but Broll is there to pressure the Parkview player. And in order to slow down the match, she just taps it out, and it'll be a Parkview throw. Looks like we have another mass substitution coming for Parkview. 4, 3, 5, and 20 back into the game for Parkview. Parkview looks like they only have four girls on the bench, and it looks like they'll probably do a lot of substituting to keep legs fresh. So it... Following those substitutions, you'll have a park view throw coming around the 20 yard line. Park view's throw drops into play. Mauser's there to get the ball. After a brief scrum for the ball, park view trying to possess, but ah, it, we still have some loose ball. Eventually, foul called on park view. And Black will take the direct kick. A lot of loose ball play there. Both teams fighting to win and possess the ball, but no one really getting a hold until the foul is called on Parkview. Black centering pass there. Over all Parkview players. Bella Irvin's first one there. Per Bella back into the box by herself. Well, with a Parkview defender. Plays it out wide. Tries to drop it to Johnson. Johnson able to get to it. She does save it. Johnson to Masius. Masius back to Johnson. Johnson settles, surveys the field, centers the ball to Mauser or Black. Mauser now has the ball. She sends it out wide to Hale. Hale turns, possesses, centers up to Black. Black back to Hale. Hale into the box. Hale looking to center it. Just can't get her hips turned, puts it into the side of the net. And you'll have a park view goal kick. We're now 20, almost 23 minutes into this half. Score is Valonia 1, Parkview 0. Big touch by Parkview, but 
played in the air by Mauser. Mauser has Mauser to McReynolds. McReynolds at the top of the box. Rockets and the keeper. Uh, so we're going to see what the refs call. The shot is off the keeper's hand and off the football crossbar, but the official is – they're choosing to ignore that the ball went out of touch, and instead they're calling an offside on Irvin, and Parkview's taking a goal kick. Um, not 100% sure exactly why this is what it is, but it is what it is. Parkview goal kick. Kleber settles the, the goal kick, puts it up to Irvin. Irvin drops to Masius. Masius up to McReynolds. McReynolds touches into the box to try to get a running Hale. Hale gets there. Hale, left foot shot. And it looks like he is calling goal kick. I guess that ball got under the keeper and off the post. And we have a Parkview goal kick. That goal kick is played in the air by Black. Black lines up, takes a shot just wide, just past the diving Parkview keeper. Another shot. Another wide right and the Parkview goal kick. Lonia is getting their opportunities tonight, so eventually these are going to start falling. Goal kick by Parkview played off the bounce by Lang and off Amasius' chest. Bella Irvin there to get it, pops it out wide to Kendall Johnson. Johnson into the box, centers it. Off a of Parkview player, Parkview player centers it back to the middle of the field. Just J.C. Masius gets to it eventually, and Black drops it back to Lang. Bologna possesses and looks to set back up. Lang's attempt up the sideline played out of play by Parkview. That ball just took it a journey under the bleachers, and we will have a throw-in coming for Bologna as soon as we find a ball. Uh, during this time, during this uh, stoppage, there is a couple substitutions. Two two players in uh, twelve and fourteen in for Parkview, and in for Valonia looks like number four Carissa Borden and number seven Emma Lowry into the game. It looks like Bella Irvin and Kendall Johnson are getting a breather. Throw coming in for Valonia after the ball had been retrieved. Special shout out to Coach Buer for getting under the bleachers. Black's throw into the box. Strong throw. McReynolds, can she get there in time? She does, but it's off the post. Wide right. Goal kick, Parkview. Goal kick into play off Lowry's foot. Borden is there. She fights with a couple Parkview players until the ball eventually gets to McReynolds. McReynolds plays it out wide for Hale. Hale, touch, drop to McReynolds. McReynolds outside the box. Shot deflected off the Parkview player. Black looking to win the ball back. Does. And drops. Black to Mauser. Mauser back out wide to Black. Black to Lang. Lang centers to Mauser. Mauser to Masius. And Bologna looks to attack. Touched out wide, Masius. Masius is going to end up running her own touchdown. Sends it into the corner to Lowry. Lowry in an offside position. Receives, or at least that's what the AR is telling us. So we'll have a restart for Parkview just inside the box. At this point, I just have to, I don't, okay. They are at least going to actually play it, not like a goal kick. I, I've been confused most of the night. This is the, Second or third offside call, the previous two times they treated it like goal kicks. So pardon the confusion on my behalf. Um, that touch played about the middle circle and possessed by Parkview. Parkview number seven tries to go to loan against two different Bologna defenders. And ultimately, Kleberg watches the ball roll out, apparently last touched by Bologna. I think Kleberg didn't think that was the case as she let it roll out. Um... But we do have we have a substitution for Parkview. Parkview throws the ball in during the substitution, so I don't know what the call's gonna be here. 
it looks like discussion along. It looks like they're just going to let them restart because it should have never started to begin with. And we have a throw in for Parkview. Parkview drops the ball a little too hard into play. And we will have a Valonia throw in. So when it's all said and done, it does result in a Valonia throw in. Kleber takes the ball, surveys the field, puts the ball into Black. Black settles, pops it over a couple defenders, and over takes a higher bounce than anyone was expected. And McReynolds looks to fight through. You got McReynolds and Borden just waiting for her to make a decision which way she's going to go. Ultimately gets to Mauser, Mauser to, to McReynolds. McReynolds does get by it. Tries to flip it over the keeper, unsuccessful, and now Parkview looking to clear it, but Hale runs in on it, bounces it off. Oh, bounces off a Parkview player, but it looks like play was stopped earlier than that as Parkview keeper looks to be on the ground. Yeah, I believe the keeper stopped Jocelyn McReynolds' shot with her face or head, and we have a stop here. Uh... Clock is finally called dead at 10.50 as we have a stoppage in play for player injury. The keeper is up on her feet. Um, they're walking her to the sideline, but I don't see any of the players on the park view sideline preparing to come into the game as keeper. So this should be an interesting situation for park view. Uh, Valonia taking advantage of this stoppage in play for them to recoup, get some water, communicate. It is good to see their keeper up walking around. She's giving a double thumbs up sign or some other kind of hand signal, but she looks a little woozy, but she, she appears to be okay. The fans here are cheering her on as she gets to the sideline. Uh, I don't see them getting a new keeper ready. Um, we have a conversation on the sideline between the Parkview coaching staff and the referee, the official it looks like they may be choosing to play without a keeper. The keeper is taking her gloves off. I believe maybe the situation is, is they don't have an extra keeper kit, and so they're trying to figure out how do they get, they sign someone, the keeper role, and make it noticeable. Uh, during the stoppage, I can already go ahead and tell, it looks like number 12, August Hudson, may be, re -entering, may be entering this game soon. It does look like they've settled on a keeper replacement the replacement keeper coming into the game is getting her gloves on uh, so that I believe there was a delay in uh, the extra keeper kit was not on the sideline but they're getting it addressed now and the replacement keeper is getting dressed I I'm going to try and I'm assuming I don't know what the restart here is going to be. The way they're set up makes me think they're just going to do a drop ball to Parkview in their own box. I don't. It's been a minute, so I can't even tell if that's the correct call or not. But whatever it takes to get this game going at this point, I'm I'm going to I'm saying we're going to just have to be happy with. We want to. We have a whole nother game after this one that we need to. Uh, to get going, so I, uh, I I don't know. And uh, for those who are watching at home, 
the replacement keeper is having a bit of troubles getting re getting ready. Um, but it does look like we have gotten most of the keeper jersey on. And Parkview's new keeper is smiling and happy, and she's ready to come into the game. And it does look like we will get to restart here momentarily. So uh, it looks like it does looks like I was correct. The referee is going to end up playing just a drop ball to Parkview. Whistle blown. Drop ball to Parkview in the box. Touch in the air. Mauser sends it back in. Mauser to Borden. Borden sends a crossing air ball to McReynolds, who tries to send it to Hale. Uh, oh, Parkview in trouble. Can't get the ball to the box. Borden unable to wrangle it up. And Parkview looks to change direction. Black is there. Bar Black is uh, dribbles into three defenders, and Valonia still ends up being able to come out of it with the ball. Lowry looking to get the ball in the box. A great move there to get past number four. Lowry forces a right foot shot, and we go wide left, and it'll be a Parkview goal kick. Whistle in a substitution for Valonia on this. It looks like entering the game for Valonia is number 12, August Hudson, and number 18, Kendall Johnson, replacing number two, Kendall Hale, and number 24, Layla Mauser. Goal kick coming for Parkview. Ball in the air into open territory, lands around the 30, but it's going straight out of play. And Kleberg's there to restart. Kleberg drops to Broll. Broll back to Kleberg. Kleberg turns, surveys the field, drops it back to Broll. Broll centers up. That touch the board and picked off, but Masius is there to pick it up and send it wide. She sends it wide to Hudson with a little bit too much on it. That wet ball, the wet turf skips has the ball skip a little faster than expected, and it'll be a Parkview throw. For those who can't tell, we are playing in a downpour. Well, not downpour at this point, but there is a pretty consistent rain coming down. Uh, we've been fighting a rain or a mist nonstop since we've been here. And so that is making conditions on field uh, a little wetter, a little slicker than normal. Uh, we got a throw in for Valonia, Black. Throws the, centers the ball into Johnson. Johnson flips the ball in the air to Borden. Borden settles, touches, into the box. Through. Left foots it into the keeper stop. Great stop there from a backup keeper. Uh, Borden, way to fight through four defenders, but just unable to get it past. Uh, keeper punts the ball into the air. Um... Controlled by Valonia, out wide to Hudson. Hudson to McReynolds. McReynolds just outside the box. McReynolds into the box. Centering touch off the football. Crossbar goal kick for Parkview. I mean, the good news for Valonia is we've spent, you know, 33 minutes, or 32 of the 33 minutes in the offensive third for Valonia. The frustrating part is we just can't seem to close it, finish the deal. We've only up one nothing. Hard to complain about that, but opportunities have been plentiful. Johnson plays the ball back to Masius. Masius loses it, and a brief scrum results in number seven for Parkview, looking to take the ball down the sideline. After being double teamed, she gets rid of the ball. Valonia down the sideline. Kleberg there centers it to Broll. Broll sends it up, but unsuccessful. Ball upfield off Kleberg into touch, and you'll have a Parkview throw. Just under seven minutes remaining in this half. Parkview throw. Parkview drops. Looks to do a big touch. Borden comes in from behind, not quite able to get there in time. Ball getting dropped. Broll looking to send it out wide. Unfortunately, it was a Parkview player there, and Kleberg, in a hurry, puts the ball out to slow everything down. It does, does give Valonia 
while not ideal, it does give Alonia time for the defense to adjust and look to try and take this ball back and switch the field. Ball off the air, into the box, and uh, after a couple bounces off Alonia, we have a throw in for Parkview. Parkview showing signs of life for the first time tonight. Throw coming from about five yards into play. That drop off Lowry, Lowry to Kleberg. Ball centered back into the box, settled by Black. Black playing man up defense just outside the box. And now after a double team, Lowry plays the ball off of the Parkview player, and it'll be a goal kick for Valonia. Good double team defense there by Kaylee Black and Emma Lowry to stymie the Parkview attack. I think that Parkview player was trying to figure out a way how to get down that baseline and cause problems, and they did not move an inch. Oh, quick restart by Valonia. Miller up to, to Hudson. Hudson to Lang. Back to Miller, or to Hudson. To Black, after a ricochet, we have a loose ball situation. That ball off the defender into Chris Aborn. Chris Aborn solo, too big of a touch, but and that allows the keeper to get to it. Ooh, just the slightest softer touch there, and Valonia's got their second goal. But the way the ball bounces, we're unlucky, and the keeper is going to learn how to punt in the middle of this game. That punt played to Black. Black sends it out wide to Hudson, but Hudson unable to run it down. We'll have a park view coming from. We'll have a throw in coming from Park View. Ball into play, seven receives. Once again, looking to try and go through multiple Valonia defenders unsuccessfully. And Lang plays the through pass down the sideline. That ball. McReynolds, oh, just misses getting it. Getting it. Um, you're going to have to believe the AR is right there, but that looked close. And it'll have a park view throw in. We now are at about four. We're about the 36 minute, about four minutes left remaining in this half. Valonia is still pressuring. Uh, of ball into play to seven. Looking to get the ball. Johnson runs it down. Drops it to Broll. Broll back up to the middle of the field. Borden first on. Borden turns. Taps it through to McReynolds, who is on. Her touch off the crossbar. And, okay, Valoni does chase it down. Masius is there. Centers a touch in. Oh, Parkview player. Parkview defender deflects it out of touch, or that probably goes far post. And instead, it'll be a throw-in for... That should be a throw-in for Valoni. Yes, it is. And Johnson comes over to wrangle the ball. Three minutes remaining. Valonia looking to get on the board, put another one on the board. Johnson in the black running into the box, flips over two different defenders. Dangerous play by the Parkview defender, lifting her arm on that bounce pass, but it ends up going off her shoulder, out the baseline, and we'll have a corner kick for Valonia. I believe this is going to be their eighth corner of the night. Johnson sends the ball into the box, off Borden's foot. Off a Parkview defender to Hudson. Hudson passes it back out. Lowry to Johnson. Johnson centers it a little strong through the upright goal kick of alone, uh, Parkview. Uh, another substitution coming in for Parkview. Uh, number 20 entering the game. Uh, uh, okay. I was getting confused. I only saw three players for Parkview on the field, and that means there was 12 on the field, but we do have the late substitution coming off. Uh, that goal kick sent out wide, and after a couple touches played by Parkview, and Valonia will have a throw. Black in to play. Parkview steps in front of the pass to Johnson and punched back out wide. Parkview looking to get the ball up the field, but Masius takes it away. A couple of people trying to get to the ball, just can't get to it. After a weird bounce, Hudson picks up the ball, plays it back to Lang. Lang plays it to Kleberg. Kleberg turns. Kleberg up to Lowry, just Lowry not quite able to get there. Well, it looks like we'll have a throw in coming for Parkview. 
uh, around the 45. Throw coming down the line. Uh, finally into touch. And Kleberg will pick the ball up and throw it in for Valonia. Kleberg surveys the field. Takes her drop, sends it back to Broll. Broll sends it back to Kleberg. Kleberg's trying to center it up to Johnson. Masias does get there before any damage is done. But the ball's played to three. Three to seven. And Parkview looks to attack. Broll playing one-on-one -on -one defense. Parkview player once again looking to play this sideline by herself. Gets herself into the corner, and Broll ultimately does kick it out of play, and you'll have a touch for, well, have a throw for Parkview. 34 seconds remaining. Parkview doesn't seem too hurried in this restart. Three gets the ball, drops it in to 14. 14 tries to send it to seven. Seven gets to it. And with 20 seconds left, Kleberg punches the ball back out of play. We now have about 15 seconds remaining. There's a slight discrepancy between the film clock and the game clock. Parkview drops. Hudson stays between the ball and the goal. Touches into play. Two, one, half. So Parkview threatens there with a little under a minute remaining, but Valonia able to hold tight. Your score at the half, Valonia one, Parkview zero. Uh, we should be back. They're putting 10 minutes on the clock, but I wouldn't be shocked if we do a, an abridged halftime to make sure we get both of these games completely played tonight. So stay tuned. We will be back shortly.
All right. There's about 35 seconds left on this halftime clock. Both teams seem to be taking the field. So we should be getting back underway shortly. Valonia had the ball to start the match, and so it'll be a Parkview restart for this second half. Uh, Valonia is traveling left to right, Parkview traveling right to left after the switch, field switch. Uh, it does seem like Parkview is going to stay with their new keeper for the second half. Uh, that may be something to keep an eye on. Starting 11 for Valonia in the second half. Let's see if I can see in this downpour what's going on. Number two, Kendall Hale. Number four, Carissa Borden. Number 21, Jocelyn McReynolds. And number 18, Kendall Johnson on the field. 24, Layla Mauser. 10, Kaylee Black. 9, J.C. Masias on the field. And then your back line is the standard 11, Kleber, 26, Broll, 6, Lang, and Izzy Miller is playing keeper. Ball is walked out to the center. The rain is, I don't know how to say, it's getting worse somehow. Uh, but we're going to move forward as long as this lightning doesn't get in our way. Whistle blown, ball touch, ball dropped, board and pressures. But Parkview able to get the ball clear. Broll plays the ball up to Borden, Borden to McReynolds, and Valonia looks to possess, sends out wide to Johnson, Johnson down the sideline, Johnson touches around the defender, looks Johnson into the box, strong shot, past the keeper's hands, and she did get a hand on it, so that'll be a corner kick for Valonia. Valonia coming out quick out of the gate. We are not even just 30 seconds into this half, and we are already lined up to get our ninth corner kick of the game for Valonia. Valonia continues to pressure, pressure, keep the ball in the offensive third. We just got to find a way to find the back of the net. Johnson surveys the field. Black comes short side, but, K or, but Johnson puts the ball in the air high, just down the baseline, off the top of the net, and it'll be a park view goal kick. Parkview, a quick restart here, but Mauser's there to touch for Valonia. Ball shot back in the middle, deflected off Mauser, but possessed by Parkview. Parkview looking to attack. Ball coming down the sideline. Kleberg chases down the defender, gets a body on her, controls the ball, and touches the ball out where there is no fence, and we will see that ball again sometime in 2023, or 2024. <sighs> Later in 2024. I'm getting mocked by my partners here in the box, but uh, Parkview restart coming. Throw in, deflected by Kleberg into touch. We'll do it again. Parkview... Looking to possess, seven with the ball there in the corner, double teamed by Valonia. Mauser gets the ball, touches it out, but, oh no, never into touch. Ball ultimately deflected off Johnson. It'll be a Parkview throw. Parkview drops the ball, and they are unable to control it. McReynolds quickly picks the ball up, drops it to Johnson. Johnson looks to restart, centers the ball to Mauser. Oh, picked off by Parkview. But Broll is able, oh, big touch by Broll, deflected off of the Parkview player, and Lang has to punch it out wide. Run down by Parkview, you have Black and Kleberg in the vicinity looking to defend. Parkview right outside the box, Kleberg takes the ball and punches the ball into touch. He'll have a goal, a throw in coming for Parkview. I don't think Kleberg realized that Seven had given up on the ball and she had a time to turn it upfield. Parkview does put the ball at least somewhat on frame, but it hits the side of the net. Good to see that that side of the net's not going to be bored this half like it wasn't in the first half. And Valonia will have a goal kick. It looks like Broll will set up to take this goal kick for Valonia. I believe if uh, you got points for hitting that side of the net on that side of the field, the score would be 27-3 to right now. Unfortunately, you have to go between the uprights, and we're sitting at one nothing. Valonia plays the ball out of the back, and after a couple bad touches, uh, the ball goes into touch, and we will have a throw-in coming for Valonia somewhere around midfield. Lang runs, Lang runs the loose ball down and surveys. Sends the ball to Borden. Borden touches out wide. 
Hale with a pullback up to Borden. Borden into the box with the ball, but a smooth move by the Parkview defender gets the ball upfield. Parkview with a couple of solid passes, looks to move the ball up the field, but uh, after a, a contact around the 45, Lang's a little shooken up, but she's fine. The call is... What is the call here? Throw in for Parkview. I believe the near side AR was the only one who had a good view, and he calls throw in for Parkview. The drop by Parkview picked up by Mauser, but a touch is a little too big. Um, but Parkview returns the favor by punting the ball out of bounds, and Lang will have a throw in for Valonia. Lang's throw in in the air high off of a Parkview player. And, well, nope, they're calling that ball off hail. And we have Parkview throw. Parkview ball in. Black defends. But Mauser's there to pick off the pass. After a couple loose ball touches, Johnson takes the ball and looks to go along the far sideline. Parkview able to step in front of the touch, <laughs> but, oh, okay, ball saved on the sideline by Broll to Johnson. Johnson runs through two different Parkview defenders, and now she is galloping down the sideline. Johnson touches it up to McReynolds. McReynolds all alone in the box, but the ref is calling the woman who was 10 yards behind off, and we will have a Parkview restart. No goal for Valonia. Restart for Parkview. Big touch. Send, sends the ball to around the 40 off the head of Masias. Sends out wide. Lang tries to run it down and play, and she does. Parkview able to deflect, but into touch, and we'll have a throw in coming for Parkview. Or for Valonia. For Valonia. Lang's throw up to Borden. Borden tries to play the ball towards the box. Parkview has no choice. Punches it out, and it looks like Kendall Hale will run this ball down and hand the ball off to Kaylee Black. Black will turn, survey the field. We'll look to put this ball in the box and cause some problems. Black, bounce, throw into the box. To McReynolds, but a Parkview player able to get her foot on it, punch it out the baseline, and we have our 10th corner kick of the evening coming for Valonia. Valonia's had several good looks on these corner kicks. Let's see if we can hit the back of the net with this one. Johnson uh, over to the near side corner to take this touch. Valonia lines up at the top of the 18-yard box, raises her hand, center it in. Hale able to get a foot on it. Hale uh, shoots the ball off the extended Parkview arm. No call. And now Parkview is looking to move the ball the other way. Lang touches the ball up. Doesn't get a good foot on it, but either does Parkview and Mauser is now trying to get the ball back into the box. Box into Kaylee Black. Shot by Kaylee Black. Towards the goal. No touch. So it'll be a goal kick for Parkview. That quick restart by Parkview gets the ball to about the 35-yard line. And Valonia looks to slow things down. Broll gets to it, touches it back up to Black. Black to Johnson. Johnson able to get to it first. It's touched out wide, but the step over unsuccessful. And Kleberg able to get to it before Parkview. Kleberg sends it up to McReynolds. McReynolds stops, turns, surveys, looks, steps past one defender. Centering touch just high and behind the goal. Clearly a wet ball having an effect on today's game as Parkview has another goal kick. That ball high in the well, low line drive, but uh, moving pretty quickly. No one's able to get to it, and it will be a Valonia throw-in. 
We're now just under nine minutes into this second half. It is a still a one nothing score in favor of Valonia. Valonia's Mauser possesses the ball to Kaylee Black. Kaylee Black puts a big touch on it, but it is wide right. Keeper watches it fly out, and we'll have a goal kick coming for Parkview. Parkview is doing another mass substitution. Three girls onto the field, number 20, number 12, and number two for Parkview, looking to replace number four, number 14, and number six, I believe. But I could be wrong because my eyes are getting worse as I get older. 24 for Parkview puts the ball into play. Played off the, well, off two hops. Parkview tries to play it back and does control. Johnson does ultimately win this ball, drops it back to Kleberg. Kleberg sends it across to Mossius, picked off by a Parkview player. And Lang can get gets to it first. Ball does bounce off of Parkview player, and Broll is there to slow the attack. Throw in coming for Parkview, somewhere around the 35-yard line of Parkview. It looks like the coach is going to take this throw in for Parkview, unless player, okay, a player finally comes over. Three surveys the field, drops the ball into seven, and Parkview looks to attack. Lang steps through, slows down the attack. Lang and Masias working to double team number seven. Seven plays it off Lang, and we will have another Parkview throw in. It's still raining a little bit, but it does seem that it is raining lighter than it was about five minutes ago. Throw in to number seven, Parkview. Parkview looking to get into the box. Gets a shot off, but straight to Izzy Miller. Miller picks the ball up and puts the ball back into play. Ball's down the sideline to a sprinting Johnson. Johnson settles. Looks to attack, puts a through pass to Mick Reynolds. Mick Reynolds all alone at the 20, 20 into the box. Touch, touch, shot, back, uh, far side net. No offside call this time, and you have a goal brought to you by number 21, Jocelyn Mick Reynolds, on a beautiful through pass by number 18, Kendall Johnson. So Jocelyn, Johnson to Mick Reynolds gets Valonia their second goal of the game at... 2847 20 yeah 2847 remaining on the official clock and Parkview will look to restart. Valonia got a breather goal there but I believe all these girls would like to see a couple more go on this scoreboard before the end of the game. Restart, Parkview drops. 2-7 McReynolds pressures, ball back up to 14 and Masias for Valonia takes the ball, gets it to McReynolds. McReynolds is now in a foot race with number seven. Seven plays are off the ball, but McReynolds is causing some problems for Parkview. Ball ultimately gets to Black, who sends it out wide to Johnson. Johnson looking to footwork her way around the defender, instead opts to drop down to Black, Black to Kleberg. Kleberg centers to Broll, but it's Lang who is there. Lang drops to Miller. Miller misses, but it does look like Lang will be the first one to get there. Lang deeks two different Parkview attackers and now walks down the sideline. Lang looks to send the ball up into the arm of a Parkview player. Uh, no ball, no call. Uh, Masias gathers the ball. Black looks to settle it. And Valonia looks to attack. Valonia looking through it for a through ball. Masias looked to center it, but a Parkview player um, maintains possession. Uh, there's There's been a couple couple instances where Parkview has been using their extremities to stop the ball, and nothing's getting called. But it's a it's a hard game to call. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. Uh, 24 from uh, Mauser gets the ball up to McReynolds. McReynolds is all alone. No offside call. McReynolds alone in the box. Looks far side, and it's there. No offside call from anywhere. McReynolds makes it three for Valonia on the day. Her second goal of the game. And we are now up 3 nothing with 27.04 remaining on the clock. Mauser with a great sense of mind to get that through ball. And McReynolds had a great patience, kept the ball, 
kept onside until that ball was played and then had a solo run against four Parkview defenders and then was able to finally finish it for Valonia. So we're now sitting at 3 nothing Valonia with 27 minutes remaining. Parkview restarts. And Kaylee Black takes the ball immediately, uh, but Valonia unable to round the ball up until Johnson gets a foot on it, makes a good touch, just a little too strong. Ball out the sideline, and you'll have a Parkview throw in somewhere around the 30 to 35 yard line. Parkview surveys the field, raises the ball above head, and drops it into play. That's a good strong throw there by Parkview and Johnson. And attempting to get that up ball under control, rockets it right into her teammates on the sideline. And now Parkview to, does it again. Parkview able to control it, but only place to go is out. And now you have a Valonia throw. Big throw by Kaylee Black off of two different Parkview players. Finally, the uh, handle is called. Um... Uh, Oh, quick restart by Valonia on this kick. Centers the ball into the box. New keeper, indecisive. Oh, finally. Whoa, great work. Uh, Carissa Borden plays the ball after being deflected by the uh, Parkview keeper. And the ball goes in. So that restart, I believe that was that Johnson who did that restart. Quick, smart thinking, getting that ball into the box. And Borden's able to sneak past the confused keeper. And just a reminder, this is their, their backup keeper. So she is, she is playing um, not the traditional starters. But she's still playing very well. Just an unfortunate bounce there for Parkview, but Valonia is more than happy to take it as they go up for nothing. couple different bounces there after that restart by Parkview ultimately results in a throw in for Parkview somewhere around the 30 yard line for Parkview. This ball is clearly wet as multiple times they go to pick the ball up and it, it is struggling to possess. So field conditions is definitely having an impact on today's game. Black plays the ball wide out to Johnson and Johnson and seven for Parkview are in a foot race. Seven is able to turn the ball, get it away, but Black is there. Unfortunately, a little too strong on the touch, and we'll have a Parkview throw. Oh. Parkview player surveys the field, throws the ball down the sideline. Kleberg is there, looks to get it upfield, plays off Mauser, and after a couple unfortunate bounces, back into Parkview's possession. But ultimately, the ball stays in play, and we've got Valonia possession. Valonia played ball up to Mick Reynolds. Just another Johnson to McReynolds. McReynolds into the box, solo touch, and there's nothing that can be done about that. McReynolds with her third goal of the game. With that, Valonia goes up 5 nothing, with 24 minutes and 21 seconds remaining in this second half. Valonia has finally found uh, whatever was missing in the first half, and the floodgates are starting to open up. Um McReynolds with her third goal of the game um, on a great through ball by Kendall Johnson. Twenty-four twenty-one remaining in this half. Parkview drops the ball. And Borden steps in front of a pass. And now Borden is alone with some defenders. Big touch. Pass one defender, can't get past that second one, though. Valonia does maintain possession. Ball straight to Black, Black to McReynolds. McReynolds looking to cause problems, but is ultimately deflected off a Parkview player. And we kind of have a loose ball scrum going on around midfield. Masias finally settles, ball out to McReynolds. McReynolds looks to control, sends a through pass to Johnson, trying to return the favor here. Keeper's running out. Oh, can't... It looks like uh, Johnson and the keeper collide trying to get that ball. The keeper trying to stop Johnson from getting to that ball beforehand. But let's see, what is the call here? Collision results in a... I I don't understand what's happening here.
it looks like goal kick is the call. Goal kick for Parkview. Uh, Parkview in the air. Mauser settles, drops, or plays the ball in the air to McReynolds. McReynolds settles. McReynolds to Johnson. Johnson to Black. Bologna doing a much better job of possessing the ball and, and finishing on its opportunities. Kaylee Black dribbles through two different defenders. Gets a shot off, deflected off the keeper, but she's able to get to it before Borden's pressure causes any real problems. Their keeper looks to restart. Big touch. Ball in the air. Lands around the 30. Parkview tries to possess, but cannot get to it. Masius is there instead. Masius looks to work the sideline. Does. Pass defender. Centering pass. Just past Borden, but straight to McReynolds. McReynolds touch. I don't know if she got all of that, but the keeper was there with a good save to prevent this from going into sportsmanship rule. Uh, her touch, oh, bad, uh, not a great touch there by the keeper. McReynolds able to get there, but unable to do anything with it as Parkview comes to their keeper's rescue. Parkview possesses ball down the sideline, looking to go down the sideline, but Johnson's there to grab the ball. Johnson to Kleberg, Kleberg to Masius. Masius picked off by... Parkview tries to Kleberg tries to get it upfield, but Parkview's there. Kleberg soft touch, drops, deeks a couple players, drops to Brol, Brol wide to Lang, Lang not a lot of pressure on her right now, looking to get the ball down the sideline, does, but Parkview is the one who's there. And luckily for Valonia, ball goes straight to Lang, and a. After a couple deflections, the call is throw for Parkview. Uh, a couple substitutions for Valonia into the game. Number 12, August Tuts, and number 19, Bella Irvin. Looks like Kendall Hale and Carissa Borden are going to be getting a breather. After a couple loose ball touches, Kaylee Black skies the ball to the center of the field where it is possessed and headed wide by Jocelyn McReynolds. And Kendall Johnson looks to cause problems down the sideline. She's able to possess the ball. Ball stays in. She drops to Black. Black looks to maintain possession, works her way around 14. Can't get past the second park view defender, but does win the ball. Drops it all the way back to Kleber. Kleber takes a step, sends it up the sideline to Johnson. Johnson onto the ball, possessed. Ball ultimately dropped to Brohl. Eventually to Kleberg. Kleber, drop, Kleberg drops it to the keeper. The keeper plays it. Trying to play it up to Hudson, but the Parkview defender is in the way. Lang is the first one there. Maintaining possession. Oh, and after a couple of body blows, it does look like... This near side AR is pointing for a Valonia throw, and the CR is agreeing. Well, the CR is putting her arm up for a Valonia throw. Okay, finally, uh, finally, it gets called that way. Lang gets the ball in the air, trying to get to Hudson, but it deflects off of two different park view players before ultimately getting centered and sent forward by Brol. Kaylee Black and a multitude of Valonia defenders ultimately get to that ball. Big touch by Kaylee Black. Results of the ball received at midfield. And while Hudson tried to get to that ball and start the attack, it bounces off her stomach and into touch. And we have a park view throw. Uh, that, that The throw in, if we can call it that, goes off of a park view player and back into touch. And it is a Parkview throw. Parkview throw in, touched by Black. Seven tries to go through all five members of the Valonia back line. There is a Parkview player who is in an offside position. The CR will choose to instead just award Valonia the throw in. 
laying with a big touch to down the sideline off a of park view player. Masius is there and a loose ball proceeds to occur. Kleber plays the ball and loose ball won by Johnson. And now Johnson has the ball and she's looking to send the ball up. Parkview player gets a foot onto it, but it is, it's to Johnson, Johnson to McReynolds. McReynolds outside the box, does a step by, gets past the defender, far side, off McReynolds to Hudson. Hudson gets a foot on it, pokes it in the back fence. So, well, at least from my vantage point, it looks like that centering pass goes off August Hudson's foot. So it's either another goal for Jocelyn McReynolds or August Hudson's first goal of the game. We'll uh, we'll let the uh, coaches tell us. We'll go back and review that under video review, or we'll let the coaches and players tell us exactly how that went down after the game. But we are 17:35 remaining. Bologna at this time has gone up six, which means we will remove half the remaining time. Let's see. They called for the restart, but really it should be. So there's 1730 remaining, half of 1730. Let's do some math together as a group. Uh, that's going to be 845. The clock should have 845 remaining. Uh, but let's see. The It should be 845. I think the the call is going to be 8:45 or something like that remaining, if my math is correct. It's over there. Uh, well, okay, they are opting to just put eight minutes remaining on the clock, and we'll go with that. Eight minutes remaining. Bologna has now gone up six nothing. Quick pressure by Bella Irvin on the restart gets the ball to August Hudson. August Hudson pressures the ball into the box. Parkview is going to look to try and maintain possession, but August Hudson's pressure is causing all kinds of issues. Parkview has no option but to try to play it up high, but it can't get to it before. What's the call here? No, this should be a white throw in. Okay, yeah, white throw in. A Bologna throw in coming. Kaylee Black takes the ball, sends the ball center-wise to McReynolds. McReynolds looks to turn the ball upfield. Black gets the ball. Parkview plays it off, and AR agrees. Restart for Valonia. Black into the box to Hudson. Hudson causing pressure. Hudson gets to it, looks to center it, and she does. She gets the ball off of a Parkview player, and there'll be a corner kick coming for Valonia. That's their 11th corner kick of the evening. Um, looks like Jocelyn McReynolds will be uh, lining up to take this corner for Valonia. Valonia enters the box. McReynolds surveys the field, takes a look, sends the ball in, high in the air. Uh, off the upright. Good high touch, just needed to be a little bit more into the field of play. Uh, and the result is a goal kick for Parkview. Well, Valonia has been, uh, something that's definitely has switched for Valonia in the last couple of minutes. I think Valonia scored five goals in about a five to six minute span. So let's see if they can continue the pressure or if we can just get through the last six minutes uneventfully. Uh, a big touch by the Parkview keeper gets past all other players. Lang tracks it down, plays it to a Izzy Miller who's high out of the box. Izzy plays it up to Kleberg who is dropping. A little bit of miscommunication there, and it results in a throw-in for the Parkview Patriots. Parkview Lady Patriots should have a throw-in around their 35-yard line ball into play. Ball bounces a couple times. Broll wraps it up, touches it up. Parkview does get a ball, hey, a foot on it. But, uh, yeah, a little, little bit of dangerous play there by Valonia's keeper. Uh, instead of having a defender run the ball down, Miller runs it down. And I think she realized that there was a Parkview player a lot closer than she realized and just quickly gets the ball into touch. So there will be a Parkview throw coming. Ball into play, gets the ball to 12. And Emma Lowry, I believe, Speeds in and cuts through. Ball sent back into the box by Parkview, but there are Valonia defenders everywhere. Ultimately, Monica Lane gets to it. There was an offside, but it looks like he's going to not take the call. As Lowry gets the ball for McReynolds, McReynolds holds position in midfield. 
and Valonia will continue the advantage. Hudson stays on. Ball's played to Hudson, but a Parkview defender gets a foot on it, and the ball goes into touch. Uh, looks like we have some mass substitutions coming for Valonia at this time into the game. Kinley Bolin will re- re- Kinley Bolin will be replacing Easy Miller as keeper. Looks like we have a new back line for Valonia as well. Number five, Skylar Potts. Number 25, um, Olivia Obles. And number 23, Annabelle Shirley into the game. I don't – and number four, Chris Borden's back into the game as well, as well as number two, Kendall Hale. Hudson gets this restart. Black takes it, tries to get in the box, but nothing going. August Hudson takes another look, throws the ball into Black. Through a couple of different wickets there, and Parkview maintains possession. Tries to clear, unsuccessful. August Hudson takes a look, a touch, but it rolls wide right. I think that may be the 30th time I've said wide right for Valonia tonight. Oh, but apparently this time it was because of deflection as we are lining up for our 12th corner kick of the night. So August is shot deflected by Parkview, and Kaylee Black lines up. Ball high in the air, centered up high off August Hudson's foot, but corralled by the keeper. Great play by the Parkview keeper there to find the ball in the scrum of several kids. Uh, That punt goes backwards, and Parkview is in trouble. Emma Lowry quick into the box. Hale picks the ball up in the box, stops, looks. um, Plays the ball back out to Lowry, who had remained in an onside position. And Valonia is looking to figure out how to possess that ball in. And this just unsuccessful Black corrals the ball and centers it back up. But a Parkview player picks the ball up. And Bella Irvin, a little too aggressive on the touch, takes out the girl twice her size. And the foul is called on Bella. But, hey, good aggressive play by Valonia here. Definitely not just because they're up 6 nothing. There's still high level of intensity, still looking to to play. And Parkview's not giving up either. Parkview is playing um, Parkview's playing a good game on that back line. This could be way more lopsided and a lot of solid play from this Parkview defense. Touched by Parkview up to the midfield. Ultimately received by Valonia, but... Parkview centers the ball. Uh, Carissa Borden, first one there, sends it out wide to Skylar Potts. She misses the touch, but J.C. Masias is there to recover it for her. Sideline pass goes skipping. August Hudson unable to get a foot on it, and we have a Parkview throw. Uh, Parkview is choosing to take a timeout, or not take a timeout, take a substitution at this point. Number seven back into the game. Looks like Parkview is going to try and press the advantage, try and get on the board here in this last minute 55. Uh, play remaining. Parkview ball in down the sideline. Played by Skylar Potts, but into touch, and he'll have another Parkview throw. We are now about a minute 40 remaining in game time. For, uh, uh, a legal throw in number three of the night. Ford didn't even make an attempt to do it correctly, but play on is the call. Um, that chest pass was ruled a legal throw in, and now we have a hopefully a legal throw in coming from Bologna. Loose ball. Parkview is the first one there, but Borden is able there to wrangle that ball down. Uh, Borden able to get the ball up to Black. Black looking to possess. Uh, a blessed first one there. It's a foot race now between Borden and seven for Parkview. And Borden plays it to Bolin. Bolin's clear, no good. But Olivia Oblesh there, to, or Annabelle, well, Annabelle or Olivia were the first one there, able to deflect it. Uh, Lowry fouled, eventually called. Um, I, well, hold on. Let's see Let's see what, what the call is here. Okay, yeah, yeah, foul called. 29 seconds remain. Kaylee Black going to survey the field, look to send the ball up, sends it through over all Parkview defenders, and now it's a foot race. It's Kendall Hale versus a defender. Kendall Hale's the first one there. Kendall touches out wide, looks to get in the box, unsuccessful, and we're just going to say that that incidental contact ball rolls out the baseline. Looking like we're not going to try and ruffle too many feathers left with five seconds. Clock 
three, two, one, and that is your match. Final score of tonight's match, Valonia 6, Parkview 0. Thank you for tuning in. Stay, stay tuned. We should go live again here shortly for the boys game. Thank you all for watching, and have a good evening. See you all soon.